we get it almost every night. I got new lights. I've only gone and got new lights. Hello everyone. If you're still looking for a way to get rid of those pesky, and by pesky I mean hellish period pains, then look no further. I'm here to work out what treatment works best using science. I've already gone over painkillers in my last two videos, discussing whether targeted ones are actually worth buying, and seeing whether ibuprofen works better than paracetamol. I also found out that paracetamol is called acetaminophen in the US. So shout out to any watchers from across the pond who are putting up with my Brits feet. I see you. Today I'm going to talk about the period pain relief method I perhaps rely on the most. Heat. This is my beloved hot water bottle. We've been through a lot. It's seen me at my best. And I'm ashamed to say at my worst. It's no secret that the foundation of a good relationship is trust, and my relationship with my hot water bottle is no different. The reason I care about it so much is that I really do back it as a treatment for period pains. I whack in some boiling water, have a lie down, hold it close, and try and let the cramps melt away. And I feel like it really helps. However, some people argue that heat only feels like it helps period pains, rather than changing the way the pain affects you biologically. In other words, they think it's a placebo, something that only works because you really want it to work. I think placebos are actually quite cool, because it shows that we're kind of our own little genies, and if we wish something hard enough, it might come true. But this theory did make me question my dear hot water bottle, and again, as happens in most relationships, the fairy tale of trust became punctured by the want for cold, hard facts. The scientist in me wants to know why. Why does heat calm period pains? When we feel heat, a different mechanism is activated compared to when we feel pain. Some research led by Dr. King. Wait, is he a doctor or a king? Oh no, it's just his name. Some research by Dr. King of University College London has suggested that if you apply heat of more than 40 degrees Celsius, that's 104 Fahrenheit US watchers, I still see you, to a site of internal injury, so those are injuries like period pains that are inside, then it switches on heat receptors at that site. A receptor is just something that detects things, and in this case, the receptor detecting the heat is called TRIP1. Science acronym, TRIP1. It's thought that when this TRIP1 mechanism is actually activated by heat, it cancels out the mechanism that's making us feel period pain. In other words, this heat mechanism overrides the pain mechanism, meaning you feel the heat more than you feel the pain. Pretty cool, eh? Or pretty warm, eh? A, A, A. Now it's always good to get a couple of different theories out there, so here's a second one. That heat helps to reduce period pain by increasing blood flow. When we experience period pain, our uterus is contracting. In other words, it's squeezing. Or, oh, I just, oh, I can feel it. It's doing this in an attempt to encourage the lining of your womb to shed away. Because that's what a period is, right? Your uterus shaking off the bits it doesn't need anymore. However, that's the point. Although you associate your period with getting rid of blood, it's getting rid of all blood that you don't need anymore. The cells that make up your uterus still need a supply of fresh blood, because blood contains all the ingredients your cells need to live their lives to the full. This blood gets to your uterus and all parts of your body through blood vessels. You might know them as arteries and veins, and they're essentially a tube system that your blood uses to get to anywhere in your body. Or a subway system. Yes, I still see you American and also Glaswegian watchers. Now as your uterus contracts and squeezes, so do the blood vessels that supply it. So the blood supply to the uterus essentially gets blocked off a bit. So your uterus cells get less blood getting to them, they panic and they release pain signals. But to bring our saviour heat back into it, when you heat a part of your body, the blood vessels get wider. This then increases the amount of blood flow to an area and so resumes regular delivery of the ingredients for life. So this means that the cells that push the panic button, in this case the uterus cells, can calm down and slow their pain signal release meaning we feel less pain. Now, maybe you don't care much for the theory of why heat helps pain, in which case, thank you for sitting through the last however many minutes. Maybe you'd just rather know how well heat works against period pains compared to other treatments. Well, my selling point of these videos is finding the best way to treat period pains, and as it seems to be my thing now, let's do a versus match. Winner stays on, and ibuprofen did come out top over paracetamol in my last video, so let's see how this goes. Let's get ready to rumble! Which works better against period pains, ibuprofen or heat?
Well, as if I planned it, a small study has already investigated this for me. People who experienced menstrual cramps volunteered for this study and they were split into four groups. One group was given just ibuprofen, one group was given just a heat patch, one group was given both and one group was given none. Turns out, this study found that heat patches are just as effective against period pains as ibuprofen is. There was no significant difference between the two. And I found another study that backed that up too. So there we go, it's a draw? But here's a rogue idea. Rather than pitting those two treatments against each other, how about we use them together? The same study showed that while the level of pain relief was the same, whether you used ibuprofen, heat or both, when you used both, the pain relief was faster. So there we go. Now this study used a small kidney bean shaped heat patch that could be easily placed under the underwear. <laughs> Why am I giggling at underwear? Am I a child? But I know what source of heat I'd rather use. To conclude, there are actual scientific reasons why heat helps period pains. And to add to that, heat might be just as effective as some painkillers. Also, if you want some speedier relief, combine the powers of ibuprofen and heat for a cook 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 combo <laughs> That's all for now, but thank you so much for watching. And keep an eye out for my next instalment when I'm going to be talking about the effects of diet and exercise against period pains. Yes, the tirade against the cramps continues. It's drawing to a close, but it does continue. Meanwhile though, if you like this video then please do give it a thumbs up share with anyone who loves hot water bottles as much as i do and hey if you're not subscribed yet then why not click the subscribe button you know it will probably make my day <laughs> also say hey to me on twitter and pop any questions or comments or thoughts or anything in the comments below okay okay i'm going now but finally have a lovely day and remember to keep asking questions and here's the summary compadres pause it and read it if you want to well, you get the best of both worlds. Is this joke getting a bit weird now? Hey, hey, I sound Canadian. Pretty cool, eh? That wasn't Canadian. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Ha ha ha. I'm so British, but I'm not from the South. La la la.